Shin, take three. I made two other videos. I messed them both up. The first one was really fucking... Whew, I was tense. It is like one and something in the morning. I was hearing the gravel move outside. And I'm a paranoid freak sometimes. So I had to go lock all the doors in my house. Just to be safe. Because do people think I want a fucking creepy person in my backyard? Able to get in my house? Because my parents, I swear to God. When they leave the doors unlocked, I'm just like, lock them! I don't care that we live in the middle of dumb fuck nowhere. I feel safe with the doors locked. Call me a fucking paranoid idiot. But still, who feels safe with easy access into their house? So I lock the doors sometimes. And, yeah. Call me crazy. But I do. I'm fucked now. Such a lovely place to live. Not really. Not at all. Fuck that. I would not recommend living in bum fuck nowhere to anyone that is not a Jehovah's Witness, a Mormon, or some fucking form of Christianity. I wouldn't. I would a small ass town, like population 2000. Like, the friggin' population of this town was the size of my graduating class back in my old school. That's how fucking small the town is. And, oh my god, there's like fucking five churches here? All Christian churches, yes. Like, I know where two of them are, but I've seen five. And I don't even know if that's all of them. It's like, whoa, what the fuck? And I'm just too metal for them, I guess. Because the school I go to, everyone kind of thinks I am a Satanist and I sacrifice animals in my backyard. I don't. Because, though I have studied Satanism extensively because I think the subject is interesting. I study religion for the sake of fucking religion. It's so interesting to like study the dynamics of it. And like why people believe what they believe. And everything they believe. It is such an interesting thing to learn about. And this one guy, I was talking to this kid on the bus, and like, oh yeah, I study religions, I study Satanism, you know? And people are like, you better not be friggin' sacrificing no virgins up in this bus. And I'm just like, what? No, what the fuck? I fucking schooled these kids. I fucking schooled them. And we're like, Satanists, last time I checked, don't fucking sacrifice people. I used to think they did because I was ignorant to Satanism at a time. But then I researched it to just make sure I stepped in some, like, a fucking ignorant person while I talked about it. Like, you understand where I'm coming from, right? Whoever you are that's watching this. So yeah, I fucking studied it. Now, everyone thinks I'm a devil worshiper. They think my family is a group of devil worshippers. They just think we're just fucking crazy in general. And let's just say a lot of people are scared of me. Do I look scary? <laughs> that did not help my case. I'm fucking insane right now. It is, um... I don't even know what the exact time it is. I don't know. It's on something in the fucking morning. I'm going insane. I really am. Stir crazy. Sick. Did I mention I was sick? Oh yes, I think so. In all my other videos, I think I bring up that I'm sick at least once. And it's all because of my little sister and brother. They want nothing to do with me. They don't want to hug me. They don't want nothing to do with me when they're healthy and well. And they're like, in <laughs> and a chew and all that. Yeah. Sickness. But no, the minute they get sick, the minute they get sick, they will not cover their mouths when they cough, they sneeze on me, they do not wash their hands. Well, they wash their hands now, they're getting better about covering their mouth. But they want to cuddle me. They want me to be there, they want to be all up in my business when they are sick. And it makes me laugh. I'm just like, uh, squeeze me? No. That just... That does not fly with me at all. But it, it is what it is. 
everything in life happens for a reason. Well, I didn't have anything to do or anyone to hang out with this weekend anyway. But yeah. So, uh, I'm just going off on like a fucking tangent here. Oh, speaking of tangents, trigonometry. I hate it. I hate trigonometry. I hate the number four. I hate the number 11. I am such a fucking weirdo. Like, I don't know, the number four, I think, is a fucking hideous number. The number 11, I just don't like the idea of 11. I hate that number. Like, I don't know. It's so weird to think of numbers. I like, wonder why they were called that. Like, what the fuck? Like, just words and numbers and, like, labels on things or something like I want to sit and contemplate like what the fuck are they called that how did they come up with those roots like language is such a complex thing to like grasp in my mind like why is it called that it's just weird I don't know I'm crazy but yet again, who isn't in this world? There is no such thing as normal. There's no normalcy in anything that we do. It's just a non-existent thing. Like, okay. And now I'm going off on a tangent. But So I saw this video about body ideals. And I got so pissed. I was reading the comments on it. And like, there was feminist shit on there. And then there was guys being like, males are the superior gender. I was fucking pissed. I went on this fucking rant about how feminism is thinking that men and males and females are fucking equal. We're all just equal. We all have our own strengths and weaknesses. It all depends on the individual. No one individual is better than anyone else. No one gender is better than the other. That's just something that someone, some societal group has instilled into our brains. We are all born equal. We all have equal rights. We all have the right to emotions. We're just all fucking equals. And people can't get that through their fucking thick ass skulls. We're fucking equals. The world's always at war over religion and beliefs and political systems. But really, we're all fucking equal. We're all the fucking same. We're all human. We all have those rights to believe what we want to believe. And... Why the fuck should we persecute others for their beliefs? Like, it's like, if you don't believe what I believe, so fucking what? That's your problem. I think I'm right, you think I'm wrong. But, in the end, we don't know what happens when we die. The only people that know what happens after death are the people that are fucking dead. And this shit is getting, like, too fucking deep for me. Like, if you get my drift, like, I am so sick of fucking kids getting bullied for being different. Like, why the fuck would you pick on a kid for being different than you are? Is it because you were raised fucking differently? I can understand the fact that everyone has their own opinions. I at once was closed-minded. I still am kind of closed-minded to an extent. But the same time it's like everyone should be open minded we all need to work on that as a species because we were put here we lived for the longest time out of any animal pretty much well sort of kind of we live for a long ass time we're the most intelligent species that is known to this day but yet we can't stop arguing we're so busy arguing the small things like religion and politics. They seem like such a huge fucking deal now. But when we're on our fucking deathbed, are we going to be like, oh, well, blah, 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 politics, religion. Religion, I can sort of understand because people believe in heavens, hells, purgatories, reincarnation, and all that shit, right? I don't know. Everyone is equal. Everyone shall remain equal. So, if you think I brought up any good points, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, bye.